Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic, and the topic is: Is there government jobs available inside clinical research and pharmacovigilance or not? So this is the very common question which I regularly get from my viewers, from our students, and from our community. so let's resolve this issue this question today and also i will be help you in you know browsing the website where you can look for job so the answer for is government jobs available inside clinical research and pharmacovigilance so answer is yes but inside clinical research sector still you can find permanent government jobs but for pharmacovigilance there are still no permanent government jobs available they are all contractual so yes jobs are available inside pharmacovigilance they are contractual like they they will uh, give you job in contract of one year two years after that they renew that contract and someone else will be assigned for the role but inside clinical research there are many profiles permanent government jobs which you can have and you can become a permanent employee for the same So let's begin and let's start with the screen sharing where I will be sharing the website where you can look for government jobs inside clinical research and pharmacovigilance. So even in clinical research also many times there are some contractual jobs that you will get to know when you will browse the website. So let's begin with the browsing. Okay. So this is the CDSCO website. You can see here when you will browse it. Okay, you just have to enter uh, CDSCO website in your Chrome browser, and it will take you to this page. So you can see this is a CDSCO website. CDSCO is nothing but it is a Central Drug Standard Control Organization. Stands for Central Drug Standard Control Organization. So it is a drug regulatory authority, drug regulatory body of India, which regulates the use of drug. which regulates clinical trial and which ensures that a safe and effective medicine should be given to the patient okay so here we have many options like menu home about us act and rules okay it will show you there are many drug acts that also you can go through in about us you can see what are the central drug testing laboratories affiliated ones how you can contact to them and in this BAB it will tell you about clinical trials they will tell you about the ethics committee global clinical trials yeah even biologics also comes under the preview of uh, CDSCO uh, drugs are there even medical devices and diagnostic methods uh, are also under the preview of uh, CDSCO okay so inside this notification you can search for the job now inside the notifications we have alert section circulars downloads events gazette notification public noti notices prescribing information adverse drug reactions tender so you have to go to vacancies okay so here when i go click on vacancies you can see it is showing vacancies right and here you can read the title of the job okay like first one is which they released on 2014th of september is for biostatistician okay so definitely see if it's permanent job they will not mention anything but if it's contractual job most of the time they will mention in the title itself if it's contractual or what yes so as per your uh, qualification you can apply yeah once again see for this clinical research profile there are i mean for clinical research top there are many profiles yeah even doctors are eligible nursing graduates are eligible biostatisticians are el eligible because to run a clinical trial there is a requirement of team not a single person can run a clinical trial we need nurses also we need coordinators also we need doctors also as a principal investigators we need pharma graduates as well so wide variety of uh, you know profile wise qualification wise are eligible for clinical research profiles so here you can just just scroll on the opening so whatever will come will come here only and accordingly you apply as per your qualification your experience and expertise yeah now another website which i am going to go is ipc now ipc is indian pharmacopeia commission okay ipc uh website 
is nothing but it is Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission. You can see IPC. Yes, it is Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission uh, whose office is in Ghaziabad. Yeah. So here you can see this is the IPC page website. Now through this IPC you will get to know about the openings inside pharmacovigilance. Okay. See, there is no hard and fast rule that inside CDSCO you can't get I, I mean pharmacovigilance opening. But here also you will get and pharmacovigilance opening till date are contractual only. So here we go to career section. When you click on career, you will see like the last one was, uh, you know, the something 7th of July. Yes. Other than this, you can see there are other section also product and services also you can see some skill development and they continuously IPC is a very in, in, interesting body actually because they do lot of you know webinars seminars for creating awareness among clinical research professionals among students among patients among healthcare professionals they create awareness about this pharmacovigilance thing regularly on a regular basis you, you can be part of their you know awareness program as well uh, if i see their uh, you know in product and services if you go there are skill development thing also material of vigilance program of india is also available resource material is also available yeah internship program is also available many time many students they ask about internship program so from here you can go for internship program also yeah if i uh, talk about PBPI. Let's click on this. What is this training and education? So apart for getting, I mean, just searching for job, you can also look for some additional resources where you can upskill yourself and where you can get additional knowledge about this. Yeah. So see trainings under PBPI. There are P skill development programs also. They will tell you about the upcoming training programs, regional training centers, yeah, training archives. You can see a lot many things they do. Yes, once again, if I go to career section, so here, I mean, this product and purchases, if I see material visions program of India, let's see what is this, uh, uh, this, uh, M, uh, this internship program. Let's see what is this because a lot of time many people ask about the internship program also. So material vigilance. So material vigilance is nothing but it is a vigilance on medical devices. Okay. Like pharmacovigilance is the vigilance on drugs. Okay. Similarly, vigilance on medical devices is material vigilance. So here see material vigilance program of India internship program. They last updated on. 10th August 2022 so internship program don't come regularly but yes uh, to get this how you can apply for and all those stuff you can always come to their website now here see in material vigilance program of India this was an internship program here you can see the eligibility criteria see pharmacy graduates now medical sciences MBBS MD DM dental sciences BDS MDS PhD so it is like not a single qualification is eligible clinical research is a very you know wide area actually now here you can see duration of internship three months six months one year okay so benefits what you will get procedures to apply everything is given here similarly just check out if any upcoming future internship programs are coming or not so these websites are not just to get uh, jobs government sector jobs also to keep yourself updated about the recent updates of any drug of any pharmacovigilance activity of any recent skill development program by government okay so just to add on to your knowledge add on to your skill you can check out these websites also these are very important websites and uh, so which going to help you a lot okay here you can see the see this news and highlights okay also uh, in cdsu website they give regularly about some alert okay alert means let's say if any if i check out this alert section in cdsu if you want to know that uh, in this month if any alert has been come for any drug okay here see july revised drug list if i click on this so it's showing you the alert drug for the month of July, which 
uh, you know through the pharmacovigilance activity they get to know about this drug alert which they have updated in their website so that healthcare professionals even patients they can just check out clinical research professionals pharmacovigilance professionals they can come and check out about the same so here they have given some alert for tamsulosin and remarks also is uh, give, uh, given what is the remark drawn by reasons for failure everything is given manufacturer everything is giving so this is called alert i mean many things you will get here you see who alert so even not just any alert in india even who alert or you know any other alert like recently we have this digene gel alert also right which we also updated through our whatsapp here it was a alert for digene gel which is a abort product and which is a very common uh, drug i mean people are using so there is a alert for that also so in nutshell these two websites so if you are looking for a career inside pharmacovigilance and clinical research these two websites cdsco website and ipc indian pharmacopeia commission website should be your in, in your top list not just looking for jobs but for alerts for you know additional updates for skill enhancement yeah now i'm going to stop sharing the screen and i hope this video help you a lot in getting the information if government jobs are available inside clinical research and pharmacovigilance or not okay and if you really like this video if you really get some new information new inputs then please 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 don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please like this video please share with your friends who are looking for the same kind of transition who are looking for career into clinical research and pharmacovigilance industry and i hope this video is going to help you a lot in future for job hunting process for upskilling process and for getting alerts and staying and keeping yourself update up to date to the latest information on clinical research and pharmacology so guys if you have any uh, other question related to website uh, you know related to uh, jobs or related to anything about clinical research and pharmacovigilance please feel free to share your comment in the comment box below and i would love to see and reply all the comments and if you want us to make video on some topic uh, which we have not created till now then that also please you comment we will be very happy to make video on the same yeah so with this we are going to conclude i'm going to conclude this video and i hope it's going to help you a lot thank you guys bye bye have a nice day